in the previous session we have seen uh, we have completed the crs installation we are uh, or the cluster wide grid infrastructure installation we have completed the rdbm software installation and we have created the disk group called data using the asmca um, uh, tool now in this session we will be creating the database uh, using the database um, control assistant database control or dbca uh, so for that we will be logging to the first node or any of the node in that matter so in in this case we have logged into which the 11 g r24 and we will be moving our uh, working directory to the oracle home slash bin directory so let's move to cd slash vaishit db home underscore one cd bin okay now we can start the uh, dbca by giving the command dot slash dbca before that we need to uh, set our display Okay, by default, we are getting an option like create Oracle real application cluster database or also we have the option to create a single database. In our case, we will be going, with, uh, going ahead with Oracle real application cluster database. So, just click on next. Okay, here you are getting different options like create a database, configure database option, delete a database, manage template and instance management the options like configure database option delete database option as well as the instance management option you will be getting only if you have you have already an existing database is there since in this environment uh, just before uh, this session i have created another database so that's the reason we are getting the um, uh, these features but when you are uh, doing it first time you will not be getting an option like configure the database option or the manage or delete a database inst database or the instance manage the only two options will be available are uh, to create a database as well as the manage templates so we'll be going ahead with the create a database option okay now it's asking what type of the database you want so we will be selecting the uh, custom database we have the option like general database as well as the transfer or, or general database or the, the transaction processing database custom database or data warehouse data, uh, data warehousing so uh, i think i press one more time so i'll be selecting the uh, custom database option then just click on the next okay now we are getting the two options like admin managed database as well as policy managed database policy managed database is being introduced newly in oracle 11g where in which will be uh, setting a policy like say your database want to be available on three nodes so once we are setting a policy then it is a responsibility of the, the cluster where or the crs to make sure that the database is available on three nodes so we will be discussing more about the policy managed databases in one other session so for the time being we will be going ahead with the admin managed database admin da managed database is the same way how we were managing the database prior to oracle 11g or you can say that up to oracle 11g we were managing the database on admin managed database but oracle 11g is giving two options one is our admin managed uh, database wherein which we will be controlling uh, the database using our uh, manual commands in the case of policy managed database you can say that the database managed is uh, database availability is uh, a kind of automated so let's give the database name as vaishith okay and here when you are giving the database name you are getting an sid prefix so the sid prefix when you are giving uh, so normally the name of the name of the database is coming as a sid prefix so the instance name will be whatever the sid prefix you are giving to that digit 1 2 etc will be added depends upon the number of nodes for example you are having um, say node like um, 
three nodes are there. So the instance's name will be Vaishit one, Vaishit two, and Vaishit three. If you want to give a different SID prefix, you have the option like change here. But in our uh, example, to make it simplicity, we will follow the global database name as well as the SID prefix, the same thing. And then here we have to select the both the nodes of the cluster so that the instance will be created on both the nodes. Click on next. It says that somehow the listener is not running on the uh, data uh, on version 11 GR24. So we may be um, we may not be able to run the um, access the database for the time being. Do you want to continue? We'll proceed with this. So later stage we can resolve the option the issue with the uh, listener. So we'll be proceeding. And now we can proceed with the. Uh, it is uh, asking of how we are going to manage our database by using the data enterprise manager, or uh, do you want to manage the database using enterprise manager, or or um, not? If you don't want to manage the database using enterprise manager, we can disable it. If you are enabling, there are two options that is available. But one is grayed out. That means you are able to manage by using the database control database control that the local manage that means you can manage only uh, the local database you cannot manage one more database which is running on the the same server but if you want to manage the um, multiple database using this monitoring tool then you should have installed grid control uh, be careful it's it's not grid infrastructure it's a grid control enterprise grid control it's another product from oracle that has to be installed on some uh, some centralized server and then we have to install the grid agent the client's uh, program should be in the server prior to our database creation since the, we don't have the uh, grid control or we don't have the grid agent available so that option is grayed out here we will proceed with the next option Okay, now it's asking you a com uh, the password given to the different users like system, sys, DBS, NMB, sysman, etc. And here you have the option like give the different password or you have the option like give the same password. For the simplicity, we'll be giving the same password. Next. Sorry, it looks like the password is, doesn't match. So let's. It says it's saying that the password uh, what we entered is not matching with the new security uh, policy uh, introduced by Oracle. Like it should be minimum of eight characters, and there should be a capital letter. Uh, it's, it should be a combination of upper and lower uh, characters, and there should be a, a digit uh, should be there. But s since it's a lab environment, we can uh, proceed with. It. So we can just click on the. It is asking you, do you want to continue? We'll just click yes. Now it is asking you the the location where you want to store it. What is the type of storage? There are two options. One is a cluster file system, and the other one is automatic storage uh, system. So we'll be selecting the ASM, and uh, we'll be selecting the common location for all the database files. And data is our uh, data file structure we we created for the um, a, uh, for storing the database. So th that is a disk dis group that we have created, and we'll use the disk group. So just click on the select the disk group. Uh, if you want, you can click on the browse and. Uh, if your multiple disk groups are there, you have the option of selecting the disk group by clicking the browser. But if we know that one, we have the only two disk groups. One is CRS and the other one is the data. And CRS we already have used for our storing our voting file as well as the um, uh, OCR. So we will um, continue with our data disk group and then proceed with the next. Okay, now Oracle is asking you the password for the AS, ASM SNMB. Remember, ASM SNMB is used for the ASM monitoring uh, purpose. So we can give the password. So the reason is that our listener is down. So 
Oracle is not able to communicate with the ASM instance using the um, uh, listener. So it's, it's giving a warning that ASM will not be configured to be monitored by the database control. This can be ignored because we can set this uh, issue later stage. We'll continue it. Okay. Now it's Oracle is asking you to specify the flash recovery area as well as to enable archiving. So we'll uh, specify the flash recovery area and we'll uh, change the disk group to data disk group because we don't want the CRS to be used um, for storing the uh, flash recovery area. Yeah. We'll just click on next. So uh, in, uh, in our configuration, the data file location is the data disk group as well as the, um, the flash recovery area is also data disk group. Just click on next. Yeah. We'll, um, it is asking the different components to be installed. We'll uncheck all the components. Yeah, we'll just click on, um, we'll just keep the enterprise manager repository and we'll proceed with next. Okay, now how much memory you should be given to this particular database? By default, it is showing that 40% of the uh, physical memory will be given to database. That is quite good for the um, the lab environments, but in your production environments, depend upon the requir database requirement, you may have to change it. And also you have the option like any DBCA uh, tool, you have the option like um, changing the uh, block size as well as the number of processes. We'll just keep the all, all the default values and proceed with the next option. Now, Oracle is giving the storage options. We can see that the control file is being created on the uh, data disk group as well as the data files. We have the table spaces available are the system, sysox, undo, temp, etc. Like, like that of the normal um, table spaces or normal single instance database. We have the um, table spaces, system, sysox, temp, undo TBS, undo TBS 1 and 2. Because since we have the two instances, we have the two undo table spaces are there. And we have one user table space. So we can see that the data file is being created under the data disk group. So for both undo 1 as well as undo TBS, table space 1 as well as undo TBS 2, the um, location is the data. So care to be noted or, or the point to be done or noted sir, each instance will have its own undo table space. We have the redo data files. We have the redo loop groups available. So we'll be proceeding with the next option. Okay, now it is giving you as the normal DBC, it is giving you three options. Create the database, save this database as a template, or generate the database creation scripts. So we'll be going ahead with the creation of the database option. Click on finish. Oracle is posting you with the uh, uh, database creation summary and we can you can just go through this one and if any changes are required we can do that changes as well just click on ok if you are satisfied just click on ok and the database creation will be starting now 